Hi, this uh, series of lectures will contain four lectures in all and will include videos, images, and links to stories that are being told. We will use online sources, original research, and collections of materials such as Tracy Tomaselli's Civil War Soldiers of Guilford, Connecticut that she wrote in 2014. Tracy's, as well as my own research, is used throughout these lectures as well as items sourced at the Harriet Beecher Stowe Center in Hartford, Connecticut. The three homes that the homes that Uriah Parmalee, George Augustus Foote Jr., and Raphael Ward Benton lived in are still extant today and can be found on or near the East River. The monument is still a wonderful place on the green to start any discovery of Guilford about the Civil War, as are some of the cemeteries scattered around Guilford. When the library is up and running again, Tracy Tomatelli can help you in the Edith B. Nettleton local history room to find many of the items discussed and others which have not yet been used for research. At the end of the lecture series, we're planning on having a Zoom style meeting where the audience can ask any questions they might have about the material. The complete schedule along with the link for the Zoom uh, meeting uh, will be given out by the time of this publication. Thank you to Loretta Lyons and Rob McCool uh, from the Guilford Free Library for allowing me to share the subjects I love with the always attentive audience in Guilford. I look forward to meeting you all at the end of the series. Our next lecture will start with the story of George Augustus Foote Jr., who was nearly the first person in Guilford to join the war effort and nearly the last to die from a wound sustained in battle. He's also the first cousin of Harriet Beecher Stowe and the brother of two women who served during the Civil War, Kate Foot Co. and Hattie Ward Foot Holly. So we'll talk a little bit more about them next time, and I look forward to seeing you all then. If you want to ask me questions about this <laughs> presentation, you're welcome to email me at culliton at aol.com, C-U-L-L-I-T-O-N at aol.com, and I'd be happy to answer your questions before the Zoom meeting. So have a good night, and uh, I hope you enjoy the rest of the lecture series.